Welcome back here at Cardines Field. Now time for the manager show. Joined, as always, by Newport Gulls field manager Mike Coombs. Skip, how are you today? Good, good. Uh, Nick? How did you enjoy your day off yesterday? Swimming pool, hamburgers, uh, a few bevies, and uh, just living the dream here in Newport. Yeah, it was all good. It's been a hot week here, but uh, nice. No rain. It's been sunny and about 90, 92 degrees every day. But what I'm hearing is once this heat leaves and the cool comes in, it's going to be it's going to bring some thunderstorms. Yeah, expecting expecting those uh, late tonight, maybe tomorrow, of course, where the goals will head up to Plymouth for the second time. Yeah, you, what's it look like up there? Are you on the bus? I'll be with you, Skip. You got your radar? Got the radar on the phone, ready to go. Okay. Doppler. Doppler. Five thousand. Doppler Lima thousand. Doppler Lima thousand. <laughs> I love it. That's perfect. Lima Lima thousand. Yeah. What's that? That's better than any other one I know. You might need to bring that to Florida because those guys down there miss everything. <laughs> they, they miss the cookout. <laughs> That's how bad they are. Because it rains about 363 days a year at some point there. At least. At least. I, you know, I only take my Harley out when it's drizzling <laughs> and not a downpour. Of course, I mentioned the old road trip Saturday to Plymouth, but on Sunday, nine Newport Gulls. Uh, team members, along with you and part of your coaching staff, will head up to Laconia for the All-Star Game. Looking forward to a good day up there. That's it. Kevin Long, he'll be the pitching coach. Uh, Mr. Holbrook will be a third base coach and throw some BP. Al Leva will be in uh, Chino, California, uh, living the dream out there, and uh, he'll miss it. But uh, we'll uh, get on the bus and we'll head up, Chuck and me and you. Are you going? I'll be up there. Sunday off. Uh, I'll be, uh, of course, the Newport Gold's broadcast crew has been asked by Laconia, and our executive producer, Tom Lima, our entire crew will be there covering the game. Wow. That's awesome. So are we going to do an interview up there, too? Oh, we'll have an interview up there definitely on Sunday. All right. So I should show up. Because <laughs> I, I don't know. My back's been hurting me. We actually might have uh, Mark Pillman Price, who's the uh, Eastern Division's all-star broadcaster from New Bedford. He might actually do the interview with you as Eastern Division manager. No, I only want you. If it ain't you, I ain't doing it. You, no, it's we can have a post-game interview. If it, if that works for you, because I'm not going to sell out my boy. Lima time. I'm not going to sell you out. No. Tonight, Mark McCoy, coach, gets the start for the goals. He had the start up at the Ocean State. Made just one mistake pitch. It was a, it was a grand slam at the line, a couple of walks in uh, an inning that chased him out of the game. But, you know, he's only allowed two home runs this year and only five runs because of those two runs, both incredibly to left-handed batters. I, you know, the home run deal is a home run deal. I, under, I understand the home run deal. But, yeah, it was a two walks before that that screwed things up. So, and he knows that. in the NECBLA East coming into tonight's contest against the Western Division full of those five and two against Western Division teams, all of which they only see twice throughout the season. So far, Newport one and zero against Saratoga. It was a tough four game back in June. Three to two was the final. Oh, I know. got to win <laughs> you know all this other due process and the results and the outcomes and all that just got to get a w always a simple game plan just got to get a w you got to do it any way you can in baseball you just you do the you play hard and you you know hopefully you come out with a w at the end goals coming off uh speaking of tough a tough loss in extra innings here three nights ago but they rebounded two nights ago an eight nothing shutout win against the eastern division opponent in the san fernandez that was a solid win all around for the goal we um we're kid through well and kept us off balance curveball change up double up on a change up our hitters you're right there. That sometimes those lefties, are, they're nasty. They're like a nasty stenosis. That's what I got in my back. The nasty stenosis. So, yeah, it's, it's rough. It's rough. We uh, played Sam. Played pretty tight for about, what, five days? Yeah, it was a 
Pitches to it for a while, but then the goal just broke it open at the offense. You know, ben Roberts uh, hit his another home run. Uh, he's in right up there with Steve Anderson leading this offense. Donlin, Donlin, Shea Donlin uh, started that thing off with a base hit. a double off the line. Finally, finally skipped us looking at the uh, injury report right now. Joe McKeith in a little sore this early this week. Sat a couple games out. Is back in the lineup tonight. Johnny, thanks for the break there. The umpires come on through here. Just leave one. Yeah, the other team's got their ball. Thank you. Sorry. That's all right, Skip. No problem. Uh, just looking at the uh, injury report right now, we got uh, Joel McKeithen a little sore the last couple of games. Sat him up, but he's back in the Stein lab tonight. Yeah, Joel's back in there. And good kid. Good bat. You need him in there. I uh, was a little disappointed he wasn't in there the other night, but injuries do happen. How's uh, Timmy Robinson and Mick Van Voss and the other members on the DL? Timmy's toes still bothering him, and Nick's Nick threw light yesterday, so he's probably on his way back. I don't know. It's dependent on the situation whether he can come back or not. It's, I don't know. All right, Doc. Newport Coach Manager Mike Coombs, thanks for joining us. Good luck tonight against Brigade. Thank you. That's our pregame visit with Mike Coombs. Newport Gulls baseball is next. It's the Gulls in the Brigade in the first ever meeting at home here for Newport versus Saratoga as our pregame show continues on the NECBR Broadcast Network.